Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the input settings get mapping by name nodes. Let's go ahead and run this quick little example, and we'll see that it shows spacebar in the top left. And if I actually hit the spacebar, it's going to jump. Now that's important because these nodes take an action name or an access name. In this case, my action is jump, and it gives me back the values inside of there. It gives me back whichever keys will trigger that action or access. What do I mean by that? Well, inside of our project settings, we have input settings. So under engine input, we have our different action and access mappings. Our action mappings right now are things such as fire, jump, reset VR, and options menu. And then our access are things like moving forwards and looking around. For jump, which I'm using this as an example, we can see we have gamepad, face buttons, motion controller buttons, and the spacebar on the keyboard. We could also go in and add our own. For example, let's say I went add, and let's add in the K key, just because why not? Whoops, that's the backspace. Yeah, we'll keep it the backspace. That's good enough. We'll keep it the backspace key. We go back in here, and if we were to check our mappings, which we'll do in a second, we'll find we have all of those keys shown in our mappings. So let me go ahead and pause this. We'll run it again. We'll go ahead and now look at our mappings. Now our nodes are going to be connected into the get input settings. It's just a simple node that returns back our input settings values and then plugs them into our get action mapping by name. In this case, uh, it's jump from the name I want and then outputs all of our values. It's going to give us back an array of input action key mapping structures. Basically, it's this item here, which gives you the name, which key and any modifiers, shift, control, alt and command on OS X. But it's an array of those values. So here you can see I have five values, zero through four. Jump, key is backspace, jump, key is spacebar, jump, my motion controllers, and then jump, my gamepad face button. So I can ask it, okay, which buttons am I allowed to use for this action name? And in my case, I'm just outputting the first one I find so you can see it. But as you can see here, it has all of those actual values. And if we were to continue, you notice it says backspace which is a valid key we just set up inside of our array for jump. I'm going to go ahead and delete it for now. That is the basics of our get action mapping or get access mapping by name node. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the access mapping. It'll be set to move forward so I can show you something a little bit weird about this one. We're going to go ahead and hit play. It's going to pause. We're going to look at it again. And as you expect, hopefully, you'll see our access mappings for our forward key. In this case, it's set to W, S, left thumbstick, Y, and gamepad, left Y. We go to our project settings, move forward. Well, that's correct. Those are our four settings. Now, you'll notice a couple things here. Generally, when you're doing things like on a keyboard, you have a forward and a backwards value. And instead of doing move forward, move backwards, move right, move left, you simply have positive and negative values. So in this case, W for move forward is going to be positive. We're going to move forward when we call that. And S, which is traditionally backwards, is our negative value, or backwards. And when you're working with your character controller, a negative value just simply moves it in the opposite direction. So we're good there. But if we go ahead and we actually look at this, you might see something weird. You'll notice for the first one, where it says key W, it doesn't actually show the scale. But the one below that for S shows a scale, negative 1. The one below that for the left thumbstick shows a value negative one but then the gamepad left y it doesn't show a scale for whatever reason the default scale is 1.0 and if that value is inside of your project settings so in this case 1.0 and 1.0 it's not going to show up as a scale it's going to show up as nothing it's slightly annoying it's going to output the one in here but it's not going to out show it in here it's really weird and I can show you that it only applies to the positive one because I can go in here and, for example, set W to 2. If I go ahead and run this again and we look at it, now you'll find that it shows W scale equals 2. So that's something to keep in mind. 1 is your default value for your output mappings in here. And that's going to show up weird if you look at it. You might be going, well, what's my scale? Well, if it doesn't show the scale, it's a scale of 1.0, positive 1.0. In case you run into that and figured that was something to note. Other than that, your actions are going to output your name, your key, and the modifiers. 
your axes are going to output the name, the key, and then the scale. Because again, we have actual keys and modifiers for action and just scale for axis. And that's it. That's all these two nodes do. They grab our mappings by the name so we can actually see which keys are used. So we could then do something with that. Maybe add or remove, which are covered in separate videos. Maybe you can make a little simple blueprint only key mapping system out of this. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our git action mapping and our git access mapping by name nodes.